Here we are getting ready to do Route 66 at Barney Beanery in Hollywood, California, 2005. It gives you an idea of the street down below with hundreds of beautiful cars from this era. Baby, baby, I'm gonna leave you. I'm all excited about this. We got the one and only George Ferris. George Ferris, welcome to the Motor Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. I'll tell you what a wonderful affair here. Isn't this great? First uh, time this year. Now, you go to car shows continuously, but I've been wanting to ask you. I've known you for many years. You and I have done the home show together. Yeah, we've done many things together for wow. years. Yes. Yes. How did you get started in building all these movie stars' cars? I mean, how did it all start for you? Well, it kind of started when I was in school, like every other young American boy. I just had to chop up cars and make them. Make them Run and go, but the movie industry came in in the 50s when we were right. kind of like the street racers, and uh, we had to go out and drag and race because we didn't have any place to race until Peterson and Wally Parks put together an organized drag. That's right, but, Bob Peterson. Yeah, right. The movie industry just loved his uh, high school confidential, hot rod rock, hot rod gang, hot rod this and that. So uh, we made the industry kind of flourish when the films kind of the made it where we were on that big tour and uh, getting all the exaggeration. But you're probably one of the most famous car guys, not only here, but in the entire world. Now, do you do things like I do, like lay in bed at night and wonder what kind of thing you're going to come up with, what kind of design you're going to come up with next? Well, actually, I do it on the freeway. Regretfully, I'm driving and I see a set of taillights. I'm sorry. I say, oh, boy, that looked good in my Mercury. Or somebody behind me has got a wild set of headlights, and I look in there and I say, oh, golly, that came off of a... It will is night, and i got to put that in one of my hot rods. <laughs> I remember when I think you and Bob Peterson had a place on Hollywood Boulevard called uh, Cards of the Stars. Or it Motorama. Motorama, right that's what it was. the Chinese theater, yeah. We were back into that in the 70s, and it was absolute. We had the exciting premiere in history. We walked off Highland to La Brea, and we brought in 87 stars. We had Bob Hope and Bing Crosby and everybody there. And then we had Pardon and, and Lab and doing burnouts. Pardon, and the dragster guy. On the Hollywood Boulevard between La Brea and Highland. It was absolutely so exciting at that time. I know Pete and Margie and everybody really got to fill out. Why can't we bring that back? I'd love to do burnouts. I was telling somebody today, it's my Mustang sitting there with a supercharger, and I said, it's a hybrid car. It burns gas and it burns rubber. <laughs> For you, what's your new creation coming up now? Well, we're kind of into concepts now. I just finished a GTO for Pontiac, and it, we went retro back and made it into a two-passenger roadster. I got rid of the uh, side mirrors, and I put mirror, mirror, uh, cameras in the taillights, so we got monitors on the dash. Oh, we got little great. LED lights going down the side. And My latest creation is for uh, actually for the New York Times. They brought in a Toyota Hybrid for me to customize because they said it looked like the Ninja Turtle. I said, well, then give me a chance to do something with it. And after nine days, we've kind of made it a very creative. I see another uh, movie coming out. Yeah, yeah, that, it's an appealing car anyhow, being electric and economy and gas. and uh, It's a fun project to do. We, we pre premiered it at the Cruise of Futura show for Pastre down at, in Costa Mesa yesterday. I can remember years ago you had an Excalibur. Yeah. I remember you bought it. Oh, yeah. There's probably not many cars you haven't owned. Yeah, we had one I built for Shirley, my wife, which was regretfully passed away. And it was a boat tail Excalibur. It was so exciting to do it. And then we finally sold it then. And then you got into motorcycles. You and Shirley used to do a lot of motorcycle riding. Oh, yeah. We used to get over to the 
to the rock store and the cook's corner with Jay Leno. And it was a, a lot of fun writing my my daughter now. She writes a big boy. Is it a big boy or what is it called, Joe? Big dog. Big dog. Oh, big dog. That's it. With the big Chevy V8 oh, in it. No, no. It is so exciting. And, and my son is driving the. the uh, Hearst from the Monster Garage with Jesse James with the with this club group that's are here and they're they're street riders and street raiders out there. They're great guys. Wow, it's just absolutely amazing. You're an amazing guy. You well, really are. You're an amazing guy to have done all this, be well known in the industry from coast to coast. That's just absolutely amazing. And I'm so pleased to to say that you're my friend and be part of Well you've what been you friends do. for years and long time. From friends that makes us families. Great. George Barris. The Thank best you. of success to you. All the success to you. Yeah. you and all your crew, everybody. Yeah. Thank you, Leon. Boy, that's great. That's George Barris, the one and only. Yeah. Mr. Barris, would you like a ride? George, you want to go for a ride? Huh? Barney's has been around forever in a day. And thanks, Barney's. You know, it's all about being old and old school and all the good cars. And look, we're right in front of one of your yeah. cars. Yeah, yeah. What's, what's real with that? I used to come over here with all my old guys way back. James Kahn come over with me and, yeah? and different guys. Oh, yeah. Well, we should sit down and get your stories because yeah. I'm sure you got stories we don't even know about. Did okay. you know Irwin, the old owner? I met him, but not Reno, not real well. Yeah. We, we, he was a young... cantankerous old guy. He didn't have many friends. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we were kind of busy, uh, sure. you know, meeting and greeting guys. We were all starting in the industry, especially in the film industry, and we come over and hang out. Who are we going to meet? Yeah. Who are we going to get to get, uh, you got to get me into a show, you know? Have you met my husband? Yeah. No, I haven't. You know, my husband, I think you might have Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How you been? He did you, George. Glad to see you. I put him to work. Good, yeah. He just bought that famous uh, 32 Roaster out of San Francisco. Oh, really? Yeah, we've got like seven 32s in our backyard. Golly, Of course, most. I get mad at him. He thinks it's a great thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks that's part of the decoration. Yeah. He's like, it's what yards are supposed to look like. Many, many years I worked with this lovely young lady with John Snyder and Tom doing the original Dukes of Hazzard. The General Lee, that was the best. I don't think any movie could ever duplicate what we had in our days, huh? Wasn't that fun? Well, I must say, George, um, it, I don't know what we would have done without you and the General Lee because you really gave us quite a prop. And like everybody else that you've worked with, you give us something fantastic to to uh, work with. Yeah, but and, that's only uh, steel. We got people like you that made it alive. You were so exciting and adventurous. And John would always tease her all the time. And, yeah, it was so much fun. We had more fun off the set than we did on the set because we were always in between the different sh shots and it was just a great thing we had with you. You were just lovely. So glad, glad to I'm see glad you. Glad to be here for you. Is she with you? That's my daughter. Your daughter? Okay. Isn't she cute? Oh, thank oh, you. Nice. Sure. I'm going to see John probably a uh, day after tomorrow. He's coming back from he's working on the show back in the. Uh, so, is this your Canada. birthday, Jay? This is my birthday. Happy birthday oh. to you. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Happy birthday to you. Now, I'm glad to be here, George. Good. I'm glad that you know we're doing this. This is great. Great for you. And you deserve it. George thank you. deserves it. And you do it. too. We'd thank love you. to have you. We're going to see you more often now. Yeah. Thanks. Good. Thank yeah. you. All right, we're at another great event here in Hollywood with my greatest friends, Dick and Leslie and their Harry. great Harry from the Peterson Museum. That, and you notice they're shouting and yelling. Everybody's so happy to hear that the whole Peterson group is here with some of the greatest cars from the movie star section of the museum. And thanks for coming. I know that you're- How great is this? We, we were so excited about being here, being in Hollywood, and we bought some of George's cars. We bought the David D. Roth car, the uh, four-door American convertible, and the Grease Lightning car. Great. For Just because we're movie. honoring George today, and uh, it's a great, what a great show, right? You're in a restaurant right next to the car show. How, the, how much better does it get? I mean, Barney's Bean Reads goes before all of us, but that's where it all started. We know that, so it was a great film. We're going to be outside there with you and your, your group, and we're going to kind of B-roll the cars and get a good time. So. Yeah. So happy Excellent. to have you. Oh, great. Well, it's great being here. Um, next year, we're going to have Pete here. We know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He used to hang out here. He was telling me today. He may come today. He said he's going to try to make it. But uh, he said I used to hang out here all the time. He sure did. Historic old place. The old cars. Great show.
and also the alpaca gang at the Luol's in Beverly Hills. That was one of our big hangouts too. So That's right. We're gonna we're gonna jaunt to many. If you're, if you're on a budget, you came to Barney's Beanery. If no budget, you went to the Luol. Went to the Luol. <laughs> here we are with another great attraction here at the Barney's Beanery, the Los Angeles Lakers, and of course Miller Beer. And the best part about it is Hi. Miss Miller here. Isn't she just gorgeous? How did you get to be Miss Miller or whatever it is? Um, just by having a smile and a good attitude. Boy, really. now that's a good example. But if you got a great smile and a good attitude and as beautiful as this, what is your first name? Thank you, Thalia. Thalia, nice thank you. We're so you. happy. And you, young man? I'm Justin. Justin, I'm Miller good. Guy. <laughs> You're a Miller guy and Miller guy. Oh, God. Yep. I would like to be a Miller guy. Come on, <laughs> really, how can I do that? <laughs> We're happy to have you here. Thank you. Yeah, you have to love Miller. You have to have MGD, uh, Miller Lite, High Life. Well, so get, well I'm, I'm a Miller Lite guy, so I'm stuck. There you go. <laughs> okay. This is one test row, so you didn't. Uh, look at this. Here is Bruce Myers, my dearest, dearest friends here in California area. He comes to this Barney's Beanery that he's been to many, many times with this wild, gorgeous, only car that I didn't paint, a Ferrari of the one of a kind. Bruce, it's so great to have you here. It's so good. It's the one be time here. I get to interview him other than him interviewing me for car crazy. So it's such a thrill. What a beautiful innocent what a beautiful oh, setup. You know, this is Hollywood. You know, yeah. do you understand Hollywood? You know I get the I'm getting I read that sign up this there is, in the hill all the time. Yeah, this is all about Hollywood, George. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I know so, I know Pete Peterson and all the gang are proud because they're one of the sponsors of this thing, which we of course remember Barney's Beanery from many, many, many 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 years of ago, course. and exactly. it gives us a thrill of the things that we can do. And you're such a great car collector of all the cars in the world. And fortunately, he's got my guitar that I flame for him, so he can pluck my away at night. <laughs> George's guitar flamed, a Fender Stratocaster for this good, good buddy, man. Isn't it a good show? Yeah, it's great. I think you're going to enjoy it. There's good. quite a few. Catherine Block is here, and several other ones. My old great. days from the Dukes of Hazard that yeah, goes oh, back to many it. years. But and you are Mr. Hollywood. Good. No doubt about it. Good. Uh, One more award. I can't, he has no wall space. We have to rent out a new area. We have to rent out a building for the plaques. So another work I have to do. More work. <laughs> Let's see. The only publicity guy that I had to make famous. This is Joe. Thank you. And I owe you a check. <laughs> this is the icon of the car, Southern California car uh, world here. He knows everything. So if you got any good car questions, this is the guy to talk to. Dick Messer from the Peterson. But uh, we're really glad to be here and be part of the first and we'll be part of the second, third, fourth, fifth and on because uh, it's wonderful. Two of the cars we brought today, as David said, is the uh, Grease and that's the actual car that was in the movie at the end of the movie and also in the stage play and the David Lee Roth car. If you know the David Lee Roth video, California Girl, you'll know that car. And those were done by George Barris. And there's a reason they were done by George Barris. George Barris, for 50 years, has been the go-to guy. If you wanted a custom, you wanted a, a special movie car, George was, was it. The great story of George that really put him on the map was back in, 19, in the 1950s, he acquired the Lincoln Futura from Ford Motor Company and had it in his shop when he got approached by the original Batman people when they were doing the Batman series for TV. They said, we need a Batmobile. And they were going to take, uh, George can tell you the story, they could take a, a Lincoln Premier convertible, which well, I think there's one here today, and they were going to put some fins on it, and that was going to be the Batmobile. And George said, no, no, we're not going to do that. I got this Lincoln Futura. We're going to make that the Batmobile. That car's on display now. That actual, the number one Batmobile from the TV series, on display at the Peterson Museum. And part of what's going to become, uh, George, part of our, our Hollywood gallery, a good part of it, George Barris Gallery. But that really put him on the He did that car, and he'll tell you about it if he wants to, but he's pretty modest. He did that car, what, uh, six weeks? Yes, three six, weeks. Well, three weeks, six weeks to really get it done. And that car lasted three, four seasons uh, on, on the series, right? That's correct. That very car. So, you know, everybody going, geez, who's this guy that can do that kind of work? So that's when you get the Hollywood stuff. You guys that are out in the Hollywood world, you know, it's all about the shot. They don't care that much about the car. They care about the shot. So George got the reputation of having a car not only looked good, that ran good, but it got the shot. So he's my buddy. Uh, I've known George for over 30 years. We've been around for 12 at the Peterson Museum. I love the man. He's like family. George, come on up here. We used to come here way, way, way back before a lot of you were even in the wounds and we used to hang out at Barney's looking for what are we going to do in the film industry. Even with a, a young guy also at that period of time, his name was Pete Peterson. We knew him as Pete. It's Robert E. Peterson. 
and he's the one that used to run between the studios and getting us work and between Barney's and if we could afford it we'd go to the Luol. So between the alpaca gang at the Luol and Barney's Beanery we, we did a lot of things but pioneering was a great thing and of course with Pete he started Hot Rod Magazine. We did the very first show at the L.A. Armory in 1948. Am I at that old? Wait a minute. George Burns says I'm 39. I thought I could get a little few years there. But like I said, I hope you enjoy the day because the cars are just beautiful. And we got the sun come through. And we have a lot of great friends to talk to. So if you want to meet and greet and say hello to me or whatever, or kick me, whatever, I'll be happy to come in here because from there we go to Peterson's and we have some great fun again. And again, thank you all for having me come and be a part of your show. This is your show. I'm just one of the guys that come here. Thank you again. Thanks very much, George. Also, we have another L.A. automotive icon with this kid. I'd like to say a few words. Mr. Leon Kaplan, the motor man. KBC 790 who's broadcasting this morning. Let's bring him up here. I love this guy's show. It's, uh, it's 7 to 9 or is it 10? 8 till 11. 8 till 11. <laughs> 8 to 11. I know it's Sunday morning. I know that much. And I'm honored to be here to uh, honor a great guy, George Barish. You know, somebody who, a uh, little guy from North Carolina coming out to big Los Angeles to meet some of the icons, Dick Messer and especially uh, <laughs> George Barish, someone I used to read about, think about, dream about. This is a perfect day, a great day, and it's a great day to honor someone who's uh, a superb person who means a lot to the Los Angeles area and to all of the country. And again, that's George Barris. And uh, thank you, George, for being a part of the community and, and a part of all of us who are who have uh, motor oil in our blood veins there. <laughs> thank, thank you very much. Well, David, David, I've got something for you. This is Dick Messer of the Pierce Museum. When you come to the museum, you walk through the museum, you say, oh, there's a bunch of cool cars, and this is a, a fun place and all that. But it's much more than that. It's a 501c3 nonprofit educational institution. We have, on the average, 200 children a day come through from field trips, which have been cut back now because of the price of gasoline going over $3 a gallon. But uh, uh, we still get them coming through. We do, we do a tour with them for about an hour and a half with our trained docents. They've got to be trained a year before they can take the kids through. And so it's an educational institution. And part of what we have that you don't see, we got it behind the scenes. We have all the film from Peterson Publishing starting in 1948 that he shot all over the years from 1948 to, to uh, approximately 1997 when he sold the company to EMAP, which is now Prime Media. And we have a six minute film here of Barney's Beery, 1950, introducing Hot Rod Magazine here at Barney Beanery with a ceremony. And we've made this into a VHS tape, and I'm going to give this to David today. We're so thrilled to be here and be a part of this. This is our little gift to give back to the institution. I think you'll enjoy it. The 1950, you know. I, in fact, I think I see George in some of those. those. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's fantastic. We're always looking for more history on the place. As you know, we've only been here five years, and so we're always trying to put together the history of it and, and, and make it as complete as possible. So right about now. Yourself. Well, this is great and all, but I see a bunch of old dudes up here. It's time for some ladies, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, we got a really great lady here. We have the original Daisy Duke, Catherine Bach. Woo! That's right, a true, a true American icon who's launched a thousand genes. Very short, thank God. Here to give the award to George. Thank you so much for being here today, Catherine. Thanks, David. Thanks for having me here, and it's great. Is everybody having a good time? Yeah. <laughs> that. I'm just, uh, I, I'm so thrilled to be here and to be a, a part of this because George Barris has been a huge, huge impact on the, on the entertainment industry. I must say I was happy to share the stage with the General Lee and so, and, and we grew up with that car, all the people on the show, we loved it, we loved George. I've done so many shows with George and I'm so happy to be here. And I was telling George earlier, I was saying, you know, I hope this doesn't mean you're retiring because we can't do without you, George. You are awesome. I want you to stay with it and keep creating and doing these great things for us. And if I ever do another series, I want you right beside me because I know you'll just do the greatest thing and make the show, the props, give me something to work with. Anyhow, I want to present to my dear friend the Hollywood Dream Makers first Trophy, first classic car dream maker award. George, we love you.
it's such a thrill to be here. My, my son and my daughter and grandson are here, and uh, we are very thankful for this. Yeah. Thank very you very nice. much, very much. So. I'm thrilled to present When a hot chick wants you to come up on stage, you do. Uh, guys, my name is George. I did Junkyard Wars and Weakest Link. I won't mock anybody up here. Uh, but um, I'm a big gearhead. I got the amphi car behind me. And I, not only do I get to be on stage with a genius like George Barris, a man that finally gives grace to my name. Besides Clooney. Clooney makes it hot, you make it studly. So it works out nice. I just, I'm kind of the, the idiot of the Georges. But, uh, but I'm going to be giving away the awards for these amazing cars at 3 o'clock. I'm going to be up here with Donna Mills, right? Yeah, Donna. Right, yeah. Boy, if that, if that doesn't get some of your motor running, I don't know what will. I'm a little excited. I, Donna Mills, I think I technically lost my virginity to Donna Mills uh, watching one of her shows. Uh, so that's going to be great at 3 o'clock, so everybody stick around, enjoy the show, we're going to have a great time, and it's really nice to see uh, Gary Coleman uh, in the costume working hard here today, so a round of applause for him, George Barris, and uh, enjoy the show, guys! So inside Barney's, every tabletop is a collage, Oh, that's and we true. made a collage of you! Oh my work. God! Isn't that terrific? So, you're gonna resin this, right? Well, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. resin it. Now, is it? Gonna it put the crest and is it? Is it gonna, gonna fit this way or? It goes. This is the wall, and it goes this way. So people sit on this side, and this side. So, so it works. So if you want to just go it across, yeah. or you can go over everything or anything. I think that. But this uh, is an all Barris car. I got silver. Yeah. I think black would show up better. You do what you want to do. That's Let's great. Let's see. Red, I hope this is taking pictures. So do I. Red, I don't know. I think this thing is taking pictures. Yeah. That's great.